Good morning or good evening. I hope you've had a happy week. This is a beautiful sunny Sunday morning here in Bali and I am excited to be here as usual. So I have lots of fun things for us to talk about today. So first we'll just, I'm just going to plan to just ring a couple of bells just to clear the energy because I will, I have so much that I want to get out of my mouth and so many oils in front of me. So let's see what happens. oils, blend, single oils or blends did you choose for today? I'd love to know what oils you, those of you who are watching have chosen and as you, whenever you watch this, which ones you choose to use. How many of you chose to use Valor first? Is that one of the ones that you chose to use? Or how many chose to use Highest Potential? Well, the idea is it's fun for us to do whatever oils and whichever oil you selected to use is the perfect oil for you. So it matters not whether it is the same as what another person selected. Stephen suggested to me right before, just a few minutes ago, he said, highest potential should be used because we should continuously, to put it on our ears, to hear us tell ourselves, to reach our highest potential, to help us believe that might be another one you may have chosen to use. So, good morning, good morning. I see that the clock has turned over to the top of the hour, so I will actually begin. Today, the topic is fun with the neuroauricular application. Now, that was a, the word that I used because Gary Young created, he developed over time, the neuroauricular technique, which was designed as a hands-on session for a person to do on another. Now, what we're doing is we're kind of extracting the ideas and doing it on ourselves, self-application. Now, why would that be helpful? It's helpful because we, when we do something for ourselves, we can do it any time we choose. Whenever we learn to do something, we can practice it any time we choose. Now, you heard me say the word practice. Stephen was saying yesterday, he said, Francis, you can't call this neuroauricular application. That's nah. So, and he says, how about neuroauricular procedure, a nap? Because the chances are that even when you are doing this on yourself, with or without essential oils, but if you're using the oils for sure, you may take a slight nap and then awaken to new possibilities. And of course, I, I kept thinking, oh, procedure. Stephen has the medical background <laughs> and procedure is very definitely a part of that. And suddenly 
during the night, I woke up about four o'clock this morning and I thought, wow, how about practice? That has become one of my favorite words recently because what we do every day becomes a practice. We expand upon that practice by adding additional things. However, a core practice can be one of the most productive things that we can do. Productive, another P word. So at any rate, we're going to kind of call this the NAP, the neuroauricular practice or procedure, whichever word makes you the happiest. So basically, the, the application is can be with your fingers. It can be using a roller ball it can be using a, an instrument, a tool. This, is, this happens to be a fluorite crystal that I've had for 20 years, almost 20 years. And it was originally much bluer and more purple. It's a rainbow fluorite, and it has cleared out through the years. And how many of you received in Southeast Asia when they introduced the Northern Lights Black Spruce it was a boxed set of the 15 milliliter Northern Lights Black Spruce with this beautiful fluorite crystal. My crystal was very dark when it arrived. It was almost black. And look how beautiful it is now because it has been exposed to the wonderful Young Living Essential Oils daily. So whether you choose to use a a, an instrument such as a wand, or I also have um, acupressure tools, little wooden tools, or reflexology ones. Whatever you choose is works fine. I love my fingers because they're always with me. I don't drop them and break them. I don't have to look for them. They're right here with me. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you with my fingers, and I'm so excited because the last time I did this a video, I had longer hair and I had to push it back. Now, with my shorter hair, my ears are available. And why do we use the ears, other than the fact that Gary Young talked about the neuroauricular technique? Well, Stephen told me yesterday something that I had a new a new learning thing, that the ears, the ear lobes are extremely important because they're the only way to unlock the craniosacral system, which is all about releasing, releasing emotional blocks that create challenges, physical challenges, as well as emotional, mental, and spiritual challenges. So as we are playing with these things, then we are actually doing far more than just making ourselves feel better. So I'm going to show you, there, is, there are charts. Um, I happen to, my, my um, essential oils desk reference, um, all of them are in the pavilion. I suddenly realized yesterday that they are in the pavilion at the villas for everyone to use and that I didn't have at the house. I did not have a book to show you, but I can show you on my, my I took a picture. And the ear, this happens to be the, um, the emotional points that Gary Young labeled for us, figured out and utilized so we could utilize. And there are about 20 of them and on the ear, and yes, you can learn them all. You can memorize them and learn them all, and I did, I have. I also learned the almost, I think it's about 75 points of the physical, considered the physical points associated with the, with the ear. So adding those together, it's almost 100 acupressure points just on the ears. So that is powerful. Every one of us can reach our ears anytime we choose, can't we? So 
As we add those oils to them, we're going to find much more power. So what did I decide to do today? Well, first of all, mine, how many of you chose single oils to, to play with today along with us? And how many of you chose blends? Well, I chose some of each. And from way back, I remember something that Gary had taught about when you're using single oils and blends, when you're layering, it really doesn't matter what order you use things in. So get rid of that, that feeling that, oh, I'm doing this wrong, because you're not doing it wrong, whatever you do. I personally remember him saying that single oils, because they have no carrier oil, absorb more rapidly than blends that have a carrier oil. And not all blends have a carrier oil. For instance, my beloved Believe does not have a carrier oil. Thieves does not have a carrier oil. But some blends require one in order for the, the single oils in that blend to, to interact properly with each other and to stay together, to keep the compound together. It's a pot compound. So I'm going to use single oils first, but we're going to discuss how we use this. So I'm going to use my thumb and forefinger, or you can use later, or you can use any finger if you like. Um, and we're just going to squeeze just a little bit now. I told you, I promised, while we're all massaging the earlobes, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to use geranium. Now, why did I choose geranium to be the first thing that I applied? And I'm going to apply it over my entire ear, not just a part of the ear, but over the entire ear. And also, I'm going to, when I get down to the bottom again, I'm going to go to the back behind my ears to the base of the skull and I'm going to go all the way into the center the where there's a little soft semicircle up in the, it's up in the hairline. And then I'm going to go down the sides of the cervical spine, the cervical vertebra. Reach back behind your neck and just feel how that Right in the center of your spine, of course, are the um, vertebra. And there are seven cervical vertebra, not that you need to know. And then there's a little, kind of like a ditch, and then there's another, there's spinous processes on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're just going to massage down those, in that little ditch. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, my fingers and do little circles, not circles that I'm doing on the skin, but circles moving the tissue with a little bit of pressure. This is a great thing for us to do. And on the ears, we can squeeze together and do that. Now, here's the clencher. Let's, let's apply an oil, whatever oil you have first. I have my roller balls on most of mine, not all of them. So I'm just, in case I use it on more than one finger, and I'm gonna use both hands. So I'm just putting it on all of them, just three of them, because I probably, I don't have a lot of strength in these. By the way, I feel really strange today because I have short hair, no earrings, no necklace, but we're messing with the ears. So today I have on, um, I have on rings. Um, Stephen got a whole bunch of hematite rings and I'm having fun playing with them because hematite anchors the frequency of acceptance. I'll talk more about that later. And the rainbow ones, of course, he knows I love rainbows. So I'm playing with my rings while also getting the benefit of the crystals. So I have the geranium on me and I'm going to put it all the way around the outside of my ears. So whatever oil you have selected, and you may choose to kind of put it in the 
inside part of your ear. Not We're not dropping the oil down in your ear, but and on the back of the ear. You can even rub down your neck, cross your... So, what we're going to do is we're just going to start squeezing, and we're going to start with the ear lobes because Stephen said that is the most important thing you can do, so I'm believing him. So, just rub this, and now I'll talk about it. There will be points. There are, as I said, emotional points, 19 of them, that um, that Gary defined, and, and they are labeled for you in, in online. You can find them or in your essential oils desk reference. There are some that I think are really particularly important. Pretty much the widest, if you have a mirror or whenever you have a mirror in front of you, the pretty much the widest part of your ear, on, on the ear, that outer rim, that is going to be the depression point. Now, if you are depressed, that may be really, really kind of tender. If it's tender, you don't, it isn't necessary to hurt yourself, but just massage it for a little while longer. And if you come down just a little bit farther down, you'll have the overwhelmed. This is a point that quite frequently for me, when I'm not paying attention, when I'm not grounded, I tend to find that this is a little bit on the tender side. So, depression, overwhelmed. Now, two other points that I think are particularly important, mainly because I guess um, one of them, it's kind of funny, I've never been a depressed person, but I have been an overwhelmed one. And directly across from depression, though, on the inside rim, let's see if I can show you right here, on the inside is guilt. Oh, how many of us have guilt? How many of us just carry around guilt it's like a grand weight on our shoulders. And then right below that is self-pity. Well, they kind of go together too, don't they? If we have guilt, then we pity. We have self-pity. So as we are massaging these points, we may choose to think about that. We may come back down here to the ear, to the lobe, and there are three massive, major, major, I think, points on the ear. Um, you don't have to remember them, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But there's the anger, there's the heart point, and that's physical heart and emotional heart. If your heart broken, or, and, what I think is the most important point for every single one of us, and that's fear. Every one of us has experienced fear at some point. So as we massage our earlobes, we can, we can work on that, on having the confidence to overcome that fear. Is it fear of rejection? Is it fear of success? Is it fear of the unknown? Is it fear of losing control? There's so many fears that we all harbor. We close them into our physical selves, into our emotions and into our physical selves, and it becomes illness and disease. So isn't it wonderful that we can so simply deal with that by just massaging and rather than Really, yeah, there are some of you out there, and I used to be this way, I need to know what every point is, and I needed to know it for one reason, because I, had te I was tested on it. However, the reality is, what happens if we massage the entire ear? Any place that might be a little tender will be we just spend a little more time there. It isn't necessary for us to know what it really means. 
merely that we pay attention. If you happen to hear any little, or have any little insights while you're massaging your ears and massaging the inside, Remember, we want to get all those physical points that are in there, too. And there's some emotional points. And the back of the ears. Now, because I've always been less than 100% flexible, flexible in what I choose to do, flexible in actually bending around, my ears were very, very stiff, and it hurt them to bend them. I learned that way back when I was in Florida. And I mean, I used to really get upset when the, the massage therapist would bend my ears and, and move them around because it hurt. So when you're doing it on yourself, you don't have to hurt yourself, right? Good. This is not about how hard we can hurt ourselves or how much pain we can put ourselves in. It's about focusing on supporting every portion of our being, connecting with ourselves. So the second single oil I chose to think about today, and I'm, there's no, it's not a surprise that I would choose geranium and sacred frankincense or frankincense, either one. Oh, and I just dropped something off. Guess what? That was valor. I guess I lost my courage because geranium anchors that energy of forgiveness. We have a blend for that as well. But it anchors the frequency of forgiveness, which is required for clearing blocks. That to me, that's, it's, it's, surprising. it's not surprising that it's the first step in the rainbow healing journey of the glyphs. We have to clear blocks before we can, can really have any change. And the sacred frankincense and frankincense anchor that energy of, of acceptance. We have a blend for that too. Gary gave us that beautiful blend. The frankincense, the acceptance, the embracing who you are who others are, truly, truly accepting ourselves instead of rejecting. Our fears of rejection by others are really focused right because we have not accepted all the parts of ourselves. So, and these two just happened, the crystals happen to be, so, you know, I've got all these. These are permanent residents on my um, desk. This is um, rhodochrosite, which anchors the um, frequency of forgiveness with geranium. And this particular piece of rhodochrosite actually has the, um, the hematite in there. I also have a little hematite sphere that sits on my desk because, sorry about the noise, because to me it's very important always, always, always to make sure that I um, am clear, clear on who I am and accepting who I am. And that's why I love these rings so much because they're also helping to keep me grounded. So. Now I'm going to start and I'm going to do something I've never done in a video. And I, I don't know that I've ever done this in my life because I have talked about that we will we'll do things with the Feelings Collection. The original Feelings Collection that Gary Young created had 12 blends. The Feelings Collection that we now have he reduced to six blends that he felt were the core. Who knows what is in this feelings collection, which blends he chose to put in that later, that, that reduced feelings collection. Well, he chose to put Valor. I've got them all sitting here, except Valor I knocked on the floor. He chose to put Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. 
inner child. Release. Harmony. And present time. So those were the six that he condensed, but he left six out because the original set had had 12 blends in it. So I'm going to use, or I'm, I'm going to focus on them today. I think I'm kind of running over time. Um, I'm looking down at um, Stephen's watch that is sitting here on the table with me. Um, three wise men. And because I said I was going to do this, I'm going to. Three Wise Men has, is a beautiful grounding blend for making that connection, that connection with your creator, that connection, whatever your concept is of that which created your reality. So I'm going to apply Three Wise Men on my ears, okay, where I can really smell it. Now, the thing that's so surprising about this is that the number one single oil in Three Wise Men is my least favorite single oil of all. This is a brand new bottle of, and see, it really doesn't want to come out. Maybe I'll just put it on my fingers. Come on. I don't want to spill it because it has my least favorite aroma of all. Who knows what that is? If you happen to immediately think of Juniper, yeah. And I have thought to myself many times, why did he put that in Three Wise Men? But I'm going to breathe it in. And it really, it, it seems to smell better than I thought it did. I guess I must be becoming more balanced on that. So I'm going to start and I'm going to apply three wise men in these circular motions all the way around my rims of my ears, kind of turning them inside outward, if you will, sticking my fingers in, getting, the, getting behind them. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to actually use two or three fingers on the base of my skull, just those circles. And if you're doing this with me, with or without an essential oil on your fingers, you will feel that tension beginning to melt away. And when you get to that little semicircle and right in the middle, up in the hairline, right at the base of your skull, that's right over the brain stem. And you may choose to take a little extra time because all of that tension from your neck and shoulders. Those attachments are right here. And then as we go down the sides of the cervical spine, you'll feel where it feels good and where it's relaxing you. You may find somewhere, ooh, I didn't know that hurt there. So just play with it, okay? And because we have run so long right now, I'm going to, just take a few more deep breaths of this three wise men that I haven't breathed in a long time just because it's not one of my favorites. Do you find yourself selecting the same oils over and over again because you like them or because you feel that they are the most appropriate for you? I think I often choose blends because of the name. And actually, Gary always had in his mind what he would choose for that blend to do. He never created a blend just for to sell it, just because of the aroma. He created a blend with a, a focus, a reason in mind. So, what are the other oils that he left out of the smaller feelings collection that were a, an integral part. I was lucky enough to have a, have, um, a training session, more than one actually, with Gary using all 12 blends. And those of us who knew him know that he never did the same thing quite in the same way, ever, ever, ever. So it is all 
important just to remember that whatever you are thinking is the right way to do it is perfect for you. It may not be perfect for your best friend, but it is perfect for you. So believe in yourself. Grounding, grounding. Well, he, he put, he had those two. He had the three, three wise men and grounding as well as valor blend in that a collection of 12 blends. Grounding is so important for each one of us. He, joy. Now, most of you have joy. You probably got it in your original collection from, from Young Living. And joy blend. When we lose our joy, we lose our focus, we lose, it, we lose everything. And Depression, that depression point, if you remember where it is, would be a wonderful place to have joy, wouldn't it? Replace, just knock out that, that depression and replace it with joy. The blend that he pronounced, Sara, pronounced, I mean, it is spelled S-A-R-A. -A. This is relatively new to Southeast Asia. I've had it because I've had it for many years and I've, I've been lucky enough to, to replace it. This is a very, very special blend and I will probably be talking about these a lot more in the, over the next weeks. But if you have an opportunity to get the blend Sara, and he called it Sara because it is all about releasing abusive patterns, releasing abusive patterns. And we all abuse ourselves as well as others, but we abuse ourselves in so many ways. We reject ourselves and White Angelica, White Angelica is in every single market. It was always one of Gary's favorites. However, it did not make it into that condensed feelings collection. Do you see how these additional blends can add to that overall frequency, that overall pattern of release, of letting go? And of course, release was part of, is part of the current feelings collection. And releasing things so that we can bring about that harmony harmony and balance in everything that we do, in every molecule of our being, every single atom. So as you enjoy playing with your ears and focus on just relaxing and seeing what is, what thoughts are coming into your mind at this point. And have lots of fun, and I'd love to hear from each of you, and I will see you next Sunday.